Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy David Sauce back at it again. Today we're gonna be doing another loadout video. This time we're gonna be doing the XM4 um loadout. I know you guys are really gonna enjoy this gun because you know what? I really enjoy playing with the gun to be honest with you. So if you guys aren't subbed already, make sure you guys press that sub button. All right, look, <laughs> you know, I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it if you enjoy it. So let's make it happen. All right, uh, press that like button for me and uh let's go ahead and get into the content. We're gonna get into some gameplay at first so you guys can see how the gun actually works in game. You know, you can guys see how I'm just shredding through people and then Towards the end, we're gonna be doing a loadout. All right, so see you guys on the inside. All right, guys, so welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay that we just got it through. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get right into the build. So first things first, guys, make sure you guys go ahead and grab that gun fighter. Look, it's going to throw them additional attachments onto this gun. You guys are going to want to go ahead and grab that. So make sure you grab that wild card, all right? So swinging over to the gunsmith portion for this gun. Optics, I'm rolling with the Hawks more. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But optics, I believe, is personal preference. Um, just play with what you guys feel like you like to play with. That's my recommendation right there. So swinging over to the muzzle. We're going to roll with the SOCOM eliminator all right we're gonna want that recoil um the increased vertical recoil control and we're gonna want that muzzle flash concealment all right this is gonna be the best in slot in my opinion for the muzzle all right so swinging over to the barrel we're gonna run with the task force all right so we do have some things that we're losing don't get me wrong but let's talk about the pros we got a seven percent increase of damage we got the 50 percent increase to the bullet velocity as well as the effective damage range we're gonna want this on this gun it's gonna make a tremendous difference inside the gameplay all right so we are losing some recoil but we are gonna make that up later on inside the underbear but let's swing over to the body now some people are going to swear up and down to use a steady aim laser listen i personally use um the, the tiger team spotlight for this gun it works out magnificently um it, i mean i just i mean hands down i think this is going to be the best one that you guys are going to want to roll with but if you guys like to do the steady aim laser you guys want to hit fire go ahead and roll with that steady aim laser or another piece inside this body part okay so swinging on to the next one the under barrel this is going to be the part that i was telling you prior to it's going to help offset some of the things that we're losing inside the barrel as far as recoil um we're getting a six percent increase to the vertical recoil control we're getting a 20 percent increase to the horizontal recoil control which is going to make a big difference on a gun okay we are losing some things uh don't get me wrong as far as the shooting move speed but we are going to go ahead Swing down to the magazine, and you guys see how this build actually comes together some more, okay? So, I got the SAS mag clamp um, on this gun right now. Um, I'm kind of debating, uh, well, I'm kind of debating between the two. Let me say that, between this one and the SAS mag clamp, and, and this is the reason why. That 25% loss of the aim down sight time, I, I don't know if I fully am feeling it too much. But you are guys are you guys are, you know, of course, getting a lot of different pros inside of this as far as the mag ammo uh, capacity, the reload quickness, and so on and so forth. But I've been rolling with the SAS mag clamp, haven't had no issues, but I might consider moving down here. Completely up to you guys, all right? So swinging on to the handle portion. Right now, I'm using an airborne elastic wrap. This is going to be the best in size slot, in my opinion. You got that 30% increase to the aim down sight time, which we want, okay? Um, but we also got the increase of 90% to the flinch resistance and that aim while going prone, okay? So this is going to be the one that you guys are going to want to grab for this attachment. All right, swinging out to the stock. We're going to be doing a Raider pad. Um, this one is going to have a lot of bonuses. The sprint to fire time, we're definitely going to want that. And then, of course, the increase to the, um, to the aim walking movement speed. All right, so all of this is what's going to encompass this build. This gun, uh, by uh, hands down, has to be my favorite gun that I've been playing with. You know, I, and I'm still playing with it now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the loadout. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one, all right? 